Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Rule the Waves, a grand strategy game which puts you in the shoes of a Grand Admiral during the historical age of naval uh, designs and naval arms races from 1900 until 1925. We are playing as Mother Russia. We are in the process of trying to build the Russian Navy up, build our first battleships, and again, it's classified as a heavy cruiser, but I like to think of the XTRG class, which we designed in our last episode, as our first battle cruiser. Uh, this episode is picking up where we left off, just after the completion of the design of that heavy cruiser and our first dreadnought, and as we attempt to build the Russian Navy out. We've already fought one war against the Austrians. It went very well, but the Austrians didn't have any territory for us to seize, so while the, the war went well, while the result went well and the Russian Navy uh, acquitted itself very valiantly, the end result was that Russia was kind of left in the same position it was before. The Austrian Navy lost several heavy cruisers, so it you know lost in the way of manpower, prestige. We gained in the way of prestige, but not really in terms of resources, so we're still the same Russia that we were at the start of this series. Uh, we'll see how we're able to manage the tensions and budget and unrest in our country, and we'll see how things play out in this video. Uh, this was taken from a live stream from a couple of days ago, so um, I apologize. There's one or two parts where you kind of get like a little uh, overlay, which I'm working to figure out how to get rid of those, those overlays that pop in when there's new subscribers or followers or whatnot, uh, as I do a lot of my streaming over on Twitch, but um, or actually pretty much all of it now. Um, but, you know, bear with me as I kind of figure out the best way to balance that. Um, until uh, the end, though, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let the stream jump in for me, and we'll go ahead and start this video up. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you guys at the end. All right, so we've got two Elena-class dreadnoughts being laid down and built in the United States, two heavy cruisers, the XTRG and the Tortuga, being laid down and produced in Russia. You can see our almanac now has us on the list of nations building some, uh, some dreadnoughts, some fancy dreadnoughts. They're actually larger than the German battle cruisers. Uh, an average tonnage also appears to be larger than the German dreadnoughts, uh, as well as, well, not as large as the, yeah, larger than the British dreadnoughts, larger than the American dreadnoughts. These appear to be uh, maybe not, yeah, yeah, larger than everybody, actually. Um, so good to know that our battleships are going to be the biggest, the biggest, baddest battleships out there. Let's go ahead and design some new destroyers. We probably need some of those. Invertig. Thank you for the follow. Um, let's go ahead and design some new destroyers. We'll probably just auto-design this class here. Uh, you can see here four main guns, uh, swivel mounts on the torpedoes. Can we do like a triple? Can we do a triple swivel mount? Like, I don't know. It doesn't look like we have that technology. Look like it'll let me do that. So I guess this might be the best we can do. 600 tons, 28 knots. All right, whatever. I don't really care the destroyer that much. Go ahead and build some of those. We're going to build 10 of these things. Let's actually build 12. It's going to be expensive to build, 2 million per turn. But these things will be done in about a year, so we're building t uh, 12 new destroyers, two heavy cruisers, two battleships, and we might as well get on the chain and build a new light cruiser class as well, since we're building literally everything else. Uh, we'll go ahead and auto-design a light cruiser class. You can see Orange guns are the main guns. I'd prefer five. So we'll switch these up to five inch guns on the main guns. Secondaries will have eight, three inch guns, 10 three inch guns. Um, they're going to need to be a little bit larger. We'll make them have, make 28 knots so they can keep up with those destroyers. And we'll make them, I think we'll make them 5,000 tons. Uh, they're going to have to be larger. 5,500 tons? No. Um, give them long range. Make them 6,000 tons. These things are getting awfully low. Make a medium range they can fit here. We, how much more weight do we need for long range? 300 tons. We got one inch deck armor. Conning tower, three and a half inches. Or it's two belt. Two. Ugh. So a 6,700 ton light cruiser with five inch main guns makes 28 knots. Uh, I like this design personally, some torpedoes on it as well. The Svetlov is, don't ask me to pronounce Russian. Uh, all right, there'll be a commerce raider as well. We're gonna go 
build dialogue. They're going to be expensive ships, so they're going to be a million per month to build. So we'll only build four of those. Uh, we'll incur a fee to start building, but boy, oh boy, are the shipyards churning out some vessels here. Twelve destroyers under construction in Russian yards, four light cruisers, two heavy cruisers, two battleships and foreign yards. The Russian Navy is building up, folks. A new Russian Navy will emerge soon. Let's also go ahead and get to work on building larger docks. Uh, always should be something, in my opinion, that you're doing in this game. And that's where we're focusing. Your inner Tortuga cringes at these ship designs. Well, you know, uh, the Japanese government's offering to sell automatic range transmission for transmitter for 3.6 million. Oh, by the way, did I forget to put fire control on any of these other ships that I'm designing? Uh, I don't think that matters for the destroyers. Central firing. Central firing for them. Them. And... Ah! Them. Okay. Good, good, good. Very well. All right, so we're just going to have to kind of let our money vanish. We're $9.8 million in the red uh, at the moment. So that means we've basically got budget for three more turns. Um, improve subdivision. No, I'm not buying that from you. We don't have enough money. New torpedo technology. That's great. All right, the Tsar wants to hold an international naval gathering with sailing regatta competition. This will strengthen our international standing and lessen tensions, but the money to finance the event will be taken out of the naval budget. It's not really a good time. Um, or the Navy supports it. All right. If it gives me more prestige, I will do it, even if I don't have the money for it. All right. Our agent seems to have been caught in Germany. Deny any involvement. Lose prestige. Make the agent a national hero. Oh, you know it. Oh, shit. I don't want to go to war with uh, Germany, but our tensions are really kind of skyrocketing there. All right. We're going to be in the red if we don't halt some construction on some of these ships. So we are we need to const we need to halt construction on we'll halt on two of these Svetlul class ships uh for now and one of the battleships in the United States and that'll allow us to afford one more turn increased industrialization improves national resources okay um colonial crisis with Germany is a uh, safeguard our interests us to avoid a war right now not ready for a war. I'll lose prestige. Tension will drop. I'll get budget. I hate to sacrifice prestige, but I do not want to fight Germany right now. We're not in good shape to fight a war against the Germans. And we get a little bit more money. Granted, our unrest level is rising a bit. Um, let's see. I hate to halt this again. We have no money. I overbuilt. I overbuilt. Uh, mobilize all of our major ships in reserve. Really? And a note suggesting they reduce their stance in the interest of peace and security. They're probably just conducting maneuvers. Don't fret about it. There's been international upheaval in Borno. Germany is apparently sending a force there. Ostentation leader. Okay. Issue an ultimatum. Push for international force to thwart the expansionist plans. Eh. Germany has taken control of Borneo. Okay, well, if we go to war with them... Just all the, you know... Wow, I'm sure the Dutch are thrilled about that. The Dutch, they just took that out of the, the... Under the nose of the Dutch East Indies. Like, what the hell? All right. How is our budget going up, even though we have a monthly balance in the red? I don't understand that. Um, boomy times. There's been a windfall in tax revenues. What's our recommendation? Strengthen the Navy. Budget prestige and tension. Build railroads. Increase budget. Or start some modest social programs. Huh. Well, of course I want to strengthen the Navy, but tension. Okay. I mean, granted, that probably makes me somewhat unpopular with the, with the population, if you will. All right, resume construction on this vessel. Let's see where our budget goes. Like, our budget keeps going up, even though our monthly balance is in, in the red. That I don't understand. 50,000 pounds has been collected by popular subscription to finance a new battleship. If you do not new build a new battleship, you may become a focus of some national displeasure. A uh, new government wants to reduce naval spending in favor of social programs. Can only the Admiral. All right, so our budget decreased, but so did tensions. Our prestige didn't take a hit. 
Uh, let's go ahead and build uh, one more of our uh, Elena class battleships here. So we've got three battleships or battle cruisers building. We do have that, so there you go. Uh, and we've got enough money to finance this for 10 months. Destroyers are having trouble reaching their design speed. Just great. All of them are coming off. Japanese government wants to sell us reliable pendulum mechanism. Her. Sure. Right, is anything else halted right now? Yes. Zoom. So we're spending money like it doesn't even matter. New docks completed, more destroyers completing. Top spies currently under construction of British Light Cruiser class. Don't care, I'm not going to war with them. Oil firing is a new technology we just researched. Why have we not researched any gun technologies? Someone help me understand that. Increased industrialization, increases natural resources. And our destroyers are coming off the ways. So these brand new destroyers are entering the Navy. Nothing's obsolete yet according to what I'm looking at, despite the fact that we're into 1907. Scientists report that they've hit a dead end with their efforts to find out the concept of extended double bottom. That's lame. And let's get into receiving much praise for building the requested number of battleships. That's grand. Uh, cross deck fire. I don't need cross deck fire. I'm not going to design any ships that are going to use cross deck fire. Uh, let's get to 1908 and see where we at. Oh, we're going to be in the red. So, let's see here. One of our Svetlana's been halted for quite a while. Halt construction on two more ships. Man, our budget sucks. Our economy sucks. And you keep building those battleships, though. Keep those industrialists happy. Uh, no need for your ramshackle inventions. Man, does our budget suck. Um, halt these cruisers. All right, so we're into January of 1908. Everything we're building, miners or battleships being built in the U.S. are currently on pause. The Japanese are finally building some of their own battleships and battle cruisers, mind you. They've got two battle cruisers for 39,000 tons. I wouldn't be surprised if they're about on par with our heavy cruisers that we're building. They're also building three dreadnoughts for 65,000 tons. We're building three dreadnoughts for 69,000 tons. So the Japanese, um, you know, I keep focusing on them despite the fact that the tensions are really not terribly high with them. But that's what we're building. That's where we're at. Uh, we're, we've moved three years in since uh, we started here. And we're still almost two years away from our battleships completing in the United States. And our budget is just a nightmare. Um, I think one thing we may do here, we've got several of these older ships. One thing we could do to free up some funds, these ships are all in Northeast Asia, so I don't want to touch them, but the tri Svetla class, all in Northern Europe, we're going to go ahead and move them into the reserve fleet uh, to save a little bit of money. Um, so those four battleships probably won't see terribly useful service here. Same for these three. We're going to go ahead and move these guys into the reserve fleet as well. That'll help bring our budget a little bit more under control. Granted, it's like half of our battle fleet, um, pretty much our, our our European battle fleet or a large portion of, portion of it. Um, the THG class, I'm kind of tempted to relocate them all to, to Asia, um, but we'll hold off on that for now. And I think for some of these older, these guys especially, they have short range and they're cramped. We're actually going to go ahead and scrap these three. I have no use for these destroyers. Get a little bit of money, scrap them, remove some of our upkeep costs. These guys, I believe, are also cramped vessels, so we're going to go ahead and scrap them. I do not want a single scra uh, cramped vessel in our Navy. Just asking for trouble. Um, so there you go. Scrapping and sinking or and uh, selling some ships, mothballing some others. Um... Let's get the star class. Probably should be in Asia. Let's go ahead and move. East Asia. Frankly, we'll move them along with the THG class as well. We're just moving a huge portion of our fleet out that way. 
We'll move our new destroyers also. And we'll go ahead and do that. So we've got a bunch of ships that are in transit to uh, Asia. We've got two months worth of budget. Threats from Germany realizing that the Hawk Party manages to pass a bill authoring additional funding for the Navy. Really? I don't know if that's a good idea, guys. We've already got an unrest level of three. But if you're going to do that, let's go ahead and resume construction on some of these vessels. How about the ones that are closest to completion? Afford a few more months. A rebellion broke out in Khrushchev Bay. Czar wants to hold an international naval gathering. Uh, yeah, sure. Lowers prestige. Or lo increases prestige, lowers tens tensions. I'm fine with that. All right, our budget's into the red. Yeah, damn. Uh, at least we don't, we can actually stop building some of these battleships here. We don't have to. France is hosting international regatta. Make sure they go for the win. I don't really care about increasing tensions. With All means. I'm not going to war with Austria again. There's no reason to go to war with Austria. So by all means, I'll take that money. All right, so we'll resume construction on some of these other cruisers, some of these other vessels that aren't as far away from completion. Sudden slump in the economy. Reduce budget, increase tensions, increase prestige. Rebellion has, it continues. I don't know. Um this unrest level it doesn't really show me on the map where this rebellion is going on Jacqueline yeah I have no idea where this rebellion is going on it's Finland that's Western Russia and this is the Baltics so again there's some sort of rebellion going on which I believe is going on in my own country our unrest level is four but I don't know where it's going on. All right. Uh, the rebels in Kitsko Bay have detained German for or have defeated the German forces. Is now declared independent. All right. So actually, that was in Germany's Chinese possession now. So Germany's been kicked out of China. Huzzah! Not that I really care that much, but hey. Um. Confusion to our enemies, right? right? Make him a national hero. Of course, now that we're in the process of building several 12-inch 12 gun, 12 gun ships, we finally have research that makes 12-inch guns uh, more reliable, better guns. I don't know if we can... I, I would suppose we could rebuild our ships with better guns if it was actually worth it. We're almost to 1909. One of our light cruisers is commissioned into the Navy, and we have a surplus now. So we can go ahead and resume construction on some of our other vessels, which have been just kind of languishing for pretty much ever. All right. Zoom. Go ahead and fast forward. Ooh, okay. We should support the rebels to create trouble for Germany. Oh, Germany root out the rebels? Sure. Good, good brother, brother William, or cousin William will help you root out your rebels. It's found the ship is somewhat overweight. Great, so the Tortuga class is overweight and won't be as effective as we had hoped. Damn it. So the Tortuga class, which we had placed, or the XTRG class, which we had placed so much faith in, it turns out is slightly over. Trying to avoid war here at the moment. Major shipyard short on orders and is offering to build another cruiser of the Svetlana class twenty at a ten percent discount. Yeah, I'll take the offer. Gladly. Uh, steel industry wants a stronger navy. Budget and tensions. Prestige. I'm always going for prestige. I'm always looking out for Mother Russia. Private shipbuilding increases our max dock size by 1,000. 
put on orders. We can manage with the current budget. Excellent. We'll take the order. They want another one. Okay, whatever. As long as you're going to give us discounts. Another fighting is broken out in the Balkans. No doubt that this is the meddling of Japan. We'll blame Japan. I don't know why, but we'll blame Japan. Uh, British battleship Canopus. Oh, God. Eight 14 inch guns all on the center line. If that's how much more advanced they are right now than us in ship design, we're screwed. How are we doing with Japan, by the way? They have three battleships building still, so they haven't completed any of their dreadnoughts yet. Thank God. We've got two that'll be off the ways in three months. Assuming we can actually fund the damn things. Let's go ahead. Threat from Japan, the Hawk. Okay, additional funding coming through from the Hawks. 14 inch naval guns with a quality of zero. Just out of the blue. Out of the blue. All right, we're going to have to design a new ship here. We'll wait for the start of the new year. It's going to take three years till we get it, but at least that'll be a damn good ship when it's done. All right, halt construction on that. Yeah, we skipped 13 inches altogether, I guess. Straight to 14. All right, so that ship's completed. We'll go ahead and resume construction on some of these guys. Oil's been discovered in Hawaii. Okay. During a coronation review, there's been a collision between one of our ships and a ship from Germany. An unfortunate incident, but no one's at fault. Yeah, I don't need to increase tensions with Germany for no real purpose. Uh, Austrian government wants to sell us improve AP cap for 3.4 million. No, I need the money myself. And there you go. Another light cruiser. Man, they really want to build these light cruisers. And I guess I'll take the offer. It's nice to have a discount on ships. See, the new naval secretary believes torpedo boat destroyers are the most important part of the Navy. He wants you to build at least 21 additional destroyers. Oh my god. Uh, we don't really need that many. Of course, sir. Increases my prestige and my budget. 21 destroyers. And where are we going to get the money to do that, sir? Um, of course, sir. Of course. We must have 21 destroyers building. Design a new ship, first of all. We're going to just auto-design. Um, 32 knots, 900 tons. Ooh, only two torpedoes. I guess it's just the technology that we have right now. Right. We need 22 of these things. It's going to cost 3 million per turn. That's not 22. It's 12. All right, so we're building enough. Uh, my math is all funky. But we are building enough destroyers. Now we have 22 building. So, yes, sir, naval secretary, sir. Now I have no money left for new battleships. Um, but uh, you're, the, you're the boss, right? So we do what you say. So our shipyard shouldn't complain. That's a massive order of a new Grozny-class destroyer. I think we'll probably start looking at scrapping some of these older vessels. And frankly, we've built a bunch of new cruisers. So I'm just going to go ahead and mothball these obsolete um, ships. Uh, it'll save us a ton of money on upkeep. Uh, meanwhile, these heavy, all these vessels here in Northeast Asia are obsolete as well. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of obsolete destroyers. Frankly, these destroyers I'm just going to scrap. 23 destroyers scrapped. We're building 22 new ones, so it is what it is. These light cruisers are all... I mean, you could use them for commerce ratings, so I suppose we can mothball them and save some money. Um, kind of brings the budget down a little bit now that we're throwing a bunch of these ships into the 
reserves, if you will. These vessels, I think, are already in the reserve fleet. Let's go ahead and mothball them. Saves a little bit more money. Could even scrap them, frankly. Um, these Northeast Asia ships, we'll go ahead and uh, put them into the reserve, into the mothball fleet as well. So the bulk of our battle fleet, or a large portion of our battle fleet, is being mothballed. It'll take time if we ever go to war with Japan to bring these ships out into service. Um, but I think we'll just make sure that we kind of relocate more of our ships to the Pacific Station. Uh, and, you know, make sure that we're, we're strong on premise. The Japanese have eight battleships in service. Uh, one dreadnought. We have two dreadnoughts. They have one. They have two more building. We have one building. They have two battle cruisers building. We have none building. Um, in the battleship department, they have eight. We have 17, but again, a lot of those are now in the reserve or mothball fleet. So we'll have to figure out what to do in the event of a war with Japan. If we look at the map, though, Japan does have several colonies we could look at getting. We could look at getting Korea. We could look at getting Formosa. I think those are the only two they have right now. But in any event, actual colonies we could seize, which would make us better off. Um, so I think that's where we're at. Currently, yearly budget, $307 million. Monthly budget, $25 million. Maintenance, $7 million. Construction, $14 million. Our finances are in kind of a tricky spot uh, as we try and build these 22 new destroyers, which uh, undoubtedly would be done before any completion of a war with Japan, so at least there's that. Um, and then I've also got uh, these uh, one more battleship here about two years away being built in the U.S. Meanwhile, we've got a bunch of brand new light cruisers coming off the ways soon. I think we're going to move our dreadnoughts to the Pacific, the two that we have completed. And then I think I'm also going to go ahead and move um, the heavy cruisers uh, that we built of the, um, where are they, the XTRG class. These vessels uh, probably compare reasonably well to the Japanese battle cruisers. So I think we're in reasonable shape for a uh, knockdown slug fest with the Japanese. I think we'll probably handle that in a following video here. We're going to go ahead and jump in and end this particular episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this series thus far. We've had a lot of budget wrangling and kind of stopping and starting of constructions in this particular episode. Not a ton of excitement or changes. Uh, certainly a lot of cruiser building, and, and we're starting sort of a process of reorganizing our fleet, which I think we'll continue in our next episode. I also think that in our next, ep next episode, we'll likely involve ourselves in our next conflict, probably with Japan, based on the way that tensions are structured right now, but we'll find that all out in the next episode. And with that being said, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this series thus far and this episode. Uh, until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you continue to watch and leave your thoughts below. And until next time, I'm out.